Hey, I'm Crazy Jam Viper, and in this video, I want to just take a chance to really quickly reply to Kevalan 1042's comment. So let's see what Kevalan has to say. If what you said about inflation was true, why would other things gradually cost more? If it worked the way that you described, the new money would match the new created value and prices would be stable. This is absolutely 100% true, so I'm not arguing with this. But they're not, because the majority of printed money is arbitrary and goes into crony pockets. I don't think really it is that simple. I think the majority of the inflation that happened over the last couple of years is due to the huge amount of debt that the governments had to take on in order to be able to pay for the party during the COVID pandemic. So basically for two years or even longer, you had massive disruptions in the supply chains, you had massive disruptions in anything that was producing anything. And I can just talk about us Germans here. In Germany, people were just staying at home and you know, people still had the same life expenses. So people still needed to be able to pay for the party. And in order to manage that, Germany has a program in place, it's called Kurzarbeit. So when you stay home and your company doesn't have any work or is not allowed to work, basically what the government is going to do, it's going to pay you two thirds of your last salary. This money has to come from somewhere. And obviously this money comes from the government, from the state. And what they actually did back then was they're just taking out huge amounts of loans, billions and billions of euros in order to be able to pay for this party. and. Now you're in a situation where people are just at home, they're just getting paid anyways, and you don't have any significant output in products and services. Of course, some areas are still working just fine, but the majority of sectors is just, you know, dead and there is no production going on. And what this means is that basically your output is going to stall or at least be the same, you know, you're going to have the same amount of products and services available in your in your baskets than before, but still you have now billions and billions more of currency in circulation. And what this is going to do is now that you have the same amount of products and uh, increased amount of currency. So what now is going to happen is now less products and services have to share more money. And so naturally prices go up. It's just the way that economy works. And there's really not much that you can do about it. If you just shut down a country and leave this economic engine running, then basically this is what's going to happen. Now, is there things that are terribly wrong in politics? Is there things that are currently super wrong with societies? Yes, I agree. And let's discuss these things separately. But uh, the inflation itself is not really a problem. It's more, it's more a natural thing that occurs. And it's the result of underlying problems that haven't been addressed because of the complexity of the systems that people have created. And uh, yeah, sure, I'm, I'm absolutely willing to, to argue that there is bigger problems and that there's underlying problems, but inflation itself is not the problem. And if you make this mistake that you only focus on the inflation and say, okay, inflation is a problem and thus we need another currency or we need another sort of money, I think you're setting yourself, if not up for failure, but at least you're setting yourself up on a very weak foundation because I think inflation is just a symptom and there's underlying issues that cause it. And some of these issues, they're just simply more complicated than we can just discuss in like a three minute YouTube video. Okay, um, I will get back to your points in more detail and probably I'm going to make another video about inflation itself to just go over some of the points that I hinted to. I'm also already working on, I've watched, I think um, from the last comment of Ryan, I've already watched the one or two YouTube videos. Um, what Ryan posted, I'm also working on this, Ryan, so bear with me. I'm already watching this video by uh, Ray Dalio. I really liked it so far. I watched 40 minutes roughly about it. So I'm probably going to have to rewatch it again because it was so intriguing with all the animations so that I definitely missed a couple of things. So I will definitely have to rewatch again and then I will get back to your comments. Okay, guys, this is it for right now and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.